Welcome back to Nintendo Academy. I am Mike Perez, and yes, I have potential spoilers on Breath of the Wild 2, so this is a warning. This could very well be a spoiler to Breath of the Wild 2. I have many spoilers for Breath of the Wild 2, so um, if you do not want to be spoiled or do not want to hear spoilers for the game, then you can turn away now and watch some of the other videos. But yeah, I got potential spoilers for Breath of the Wild 2. Da -da 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 -da. Subscribe. Welcome to Nintendo Academy. If you are new here, here we cover news, reviews, products, and more. So consider subscribing and don't forget to join our notification squad by clicking that bell and joining one of the best communities in Nintendo here on YouTube. All right, so let me go ahead and start at the beginning. So I received an email. Uh, from a potential insider, they did not want to identify themselves. Um, I, I understand that because maybe they have a position um, in which they don't want to risk anything. And maybe this is the, this is my first contact with that person. So maybe along the lines of them sending me more information, I get to, I get to know who it is later on. But um, yeah, I even discussed this with Nintendo Prime, Nate. Um, and they told me that if they don't identify themselves then it's potentially a false rumor and this could very well be the case but um, i decided to make the video anyway just because uh i think that this information is interesting enough to discuss and i believe that this information that i'm going to tell you again could be a potential spoiler it could be a spoiler could very well not be a spoiler okay and and we have information on the name we have information on the villain um and we have information on the story okay um and of course we have information on the names names when i mean names is that i have three potential names that they were basically discussed behind the scenes um basically when they were they were trying to pick a name for the game uh these were potential potential names that were discussed in the meeting so um, if again if you do not want to hear any spoilers then uh, you can turn away from the video now and then go watch something else um, this has the potential to be spoilers just like it has the potential to be completely doo-doo you know like nothing like nothing ever comes of it uh, but this information is just interesting enough interesting enough to share with you guys. I actually put a poll in the community center where you guys just flat out told me, yes, go ahead and share it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share it. But then again, again, I'm not stating this is real, not stating this is, uh, you know, a uh, 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 fact, this person is, is a real insider, but that this information is interesting enough to share with you guys and has the potential to actually be real. So that's why I put the spoiler alert on this video. And if you don't want to be spoiled, you can go ahead and turn away. And let's go ahead. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, we are now in the spoiler zone. And the very first thing that I want to talk about within this email right here, I'm going to be reading directly from it, um, is that the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel is completed. The game has is not delayed and is in planning phase. So this is good news. The Nintendo, the Legend of Zelda game is not delayed. The game has been completed. And right now it's in a planning phase for release. So in my opinion, this is not here. This is in my opinion. I believe that this kind of makes sense because... Um, I, I am expecting, and I know a lot of you are expecting, an another Nintendo Switch. Either a Nintendo Switch 4K edition or a next-gen console. And what better way to launch the next Legend of Zelda game than with that console? So we might see this year the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 with that console, or we might see it early next year. So there, 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 there is a potential that we might see a delay, but it's not that be, it's not because the game is not done. The game is done, apparent according according to this email, but because it's now in planning phase and they are looking at the best uh, times to release it. That's why we didn't see anything at all in this last direct. No mention of Zelda at all. All right, uh, number two. Let's see here. 
Uh, the game title was not revealed because there was no title at the moment of uh, the, the trailer reveal. So when Nintendo revealed the first trailer and the second, the name of the game was still in working progress. They did not have a name yet for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. It was still in working progress, um, and that's why there was no title revealed. They were they they, they 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 just did not have the name yet. All right, now the release of Skyward Sword was intentional and critical to the Breath of the Wild sequel. So what they're saying is that Skyward Sword is has a really really tight connection to Breath of the Wild too, meaning that if you have not played Skyward Sword, I recommend it because there's a lot of things from this game that are from Skyward Sword and is just a continuation. It makes sense because they're, they're, the, they're the same director, you know? And, uh, yeah, Skyward Sword and uh, Breath of the Wild sequel is tied together, completely tied together. Um, so, yeah, the release of Skyward Sword HD was intentional and critical to the Breath of the Wild sequel. Um, so, yeah, now with this information, we already know a little bit of the story there. Since it's tied to Skyward Sword, uh, Breath of the Wild is also kind of tied to Skyward Sword because we also have the statues. The, all of the statues that Link prays to to get those heart containers and the stamina, the, these statues are also present in Skyward Sword. So it's basically in the same Zelda universe, you may call it. Now for the villain of the story. Ganon will return but will not be the main villain. Guys, that's 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 bold. Ganon will return, but will not be the main villain. Meaning Ganon is serving somebody else in this game. Ganon is serving somebody else, so he is like the puppet of the the main villain is Firahim. So the main villain of the story will be Firahim. So this is the villain from Skyward Sword. Again, going back to Skyward Sword, Firahim is the main villain and the skeleton that they find uh, in that uh, in the ruins. So that skeleton that kind of comes to life is actually Firahim, who comes back to life. All right. So right now, let me know, guys, what you think about. Before I get into the names, let me know what you guys think about this information so far. Does it make sense to you? Do you think it's real? Could it be? Could it be true? Um, and then let's go into the uh, the names of the game. The first one actually ties into uh, Skyward Sword. Okay, so the Legend of Zelda Skyloft Rebirth. That is the first one that is written. The Legend of Zelda Skyloft Rebirth. Skyloft is actually the place where we have uh, Princess Halia, that big statue of Princess Halia, where Zelda and Prince and Princess Zelda used to live. Zelda. Link and Princess Zelda used to live uh, up in the sky, up in the sky. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, the next name, Skies of the Past. The Legend of Zelda, Skies of the Past. It also makes sense because if they're going back to Skyward Sword, then Skies of the Past, meaning uh, for some reason they return to the sky. And the third name is The Legend of Zelda Return of the Skies. Okay. So Return of the Skies. The Legend of Zelda Return of the Sky. So let me know, guys, which one sounds more credible to you. And if, if if none of them sounds credible to you, you can also write that. The Legend of Zelda Skyloft Reserve, well, um, Skyloft Rebirth. The Legend of Zelda Skies of the Past. The Legend of Zelda Return of the Skies. And then there's one more little, little detail here is that the Master Sword is actually held it's, it's in the sky. So, you know, Link does not come out with the Master Sword right away. The Master Sword is in the game, but the Master Sword act is actually in the sky this time. It's not um, where uh, the lead is not where un unless that entire piece of land where the Great Deku Tree uh, was gu guarding the sword. Maybe that entire piece of land just also lifted up and went into the sky. And that's where the the, the brand new Master Sword is going to be. Uh, put in the sky up in the sky so yeah so that's all the information that I have you guys
can choose to take this information and do with it what you want. Um, again, I'm not stating this is real. This is just an email I received from an anonymous uh, insider with this information. I thought it was very interesting enough to share. This is all the information I have. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out with a thumbs up. Leave your comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and help us get to that 10,000 milestone to get that Nintendo Switch OLED giveaway on the way. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And I am Mike Perez with Nintendo Academy. Here we go.